Hey guys, here's a quick video showing a more advanced technique with an X lights dealing with layer blending. Now, if you're familiar with layers at all, you're probably familiar with this selection box that allows you to determine how effect one interacts with the effects below it. And that's the limitation that I want to deal with is that the layer that you have selected is effect one. And then effect two represents every layer below it. Now we can have each one of those individually interact with each other in different ways, but there's no way to have a group of effects together interact with another group of effects. And so that's what we want to accomplish. So what we'll do is we'll select these effects here. We'll slide them on top of the other three. And I've left a space in between. That's not necessary. I'm just doing that to make it easier to see the difference between the two. To accomplish this, we're going to drop two off effects above all of the others. And if you're familiar with GIMP or Photoshop or most photo editing software, you may be familiar with a tool that allows you to merge the layers. And that's essentially what we want to do here is we want to merge these bottom three layers into one. And we want to merge the top three into another layer. And what we're going to do is we're going to have the off effect pick up those groups. To accomplish this, we have to set this off effect to transparent. And what that allows it to do is show through the bottom effects or the effects below it. And, and it doesn't overwrite it with the off effect. It doesn't turn the screen black. And then we have to select canvas. So not only does it allow it to show through, but it actually renders the effects below it onto this layer. Now, we don't want all of these layers to be grouped here. So we select the layers box. And we go in here and we select the layers we want to group. For this bottom one, we want it to grab all three of these, which is seven, eight, nine. So we'll unselect all of the others. I had multiple layers here because I was playing earlier. Click OK. Now I have found that if I don't render this, sometimes this layers box goes back and checks um, some of these others. So I'm not sure if that's a bug or, or why that happens. So I just clicked render after I selected the layers I wanted. We'll go to the top one and we want the top one to take these three. So again, we have to select transparent. We have to put it on canvas mode and then we're going to select the top three layers which is three four and five to get these three pinwheels okay surrender that again and now this one layer houses all three of these pinwheels. If we set it to effect one, it's going to show the same thing as normal. If we set it to effect two, it should show this group because that's going to be housed in that particular mode. That's what we have. So now we can have those two interact with each other. Let's just do what we originally set out to accomplish which is to unmask this layer utilizing the pinwheels. So we will do one is unmask. So now the combination of these three effects is showing through the three pinwheels. And you can do this to group as many effects as you would like together and then have them interact with each other. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave it in the comments.